And I stand before you today with concerned citizens in this community saying today that it's time to evict Holden Rise and companies like that from our city. Today, we're talking about the potential next mayor of Cleveland, Justin Bibb for mayor, okay? Why are we talking about Justin Bibb? Why are we talking about a politician? Am I running for mayor? No. No, I'm not running for mayor. Politics, I don't want to be the mayor of Cleveland. But this guy, this guy does want to be the mayor of Cleveland, and he decided to target Holton Wise. Why? Because we're a lightning rod for hardworking Americans who go to work every single day, put in the hours, save their nickels and dimes, and wisely invest it. And this guy has an anti-cop, pro-crime, socialist, communist agenda, and he wants to attack the very fabric of what makes America great. Now, as the next mayor under my watch, I'm going to fight back against real estate bullies who've operated with impunity for far too long. Nothing but fluff, nothing but rhetoric in search of that hot take headline. Speaking of the headlines, man, if you guys are going to talk, can we at least talk about fact? Can you at least prove to me and prove to the people of Cleveland that you're willing to do your research and know what you're talking about? I mean, this is you, Justin. You're trying to run for mayor, and you're sharing an article where the headline states... Justin Bibb issues eviction notice to predatory lender Holton Wise. If you did even a monicum of research, you would know that Holton Wise isn't even a lender. You might as well call us a predatory sandwich shop. That would have the same level of accuracy. Because residents are getting calls from these out-of-town investors trying to buy their property day in and day out. And I stand before you today with concerned citizens in this community saying today that it's time to evict Holden Rise and companies like that from our city. He is running his entire campaign, essentially, is uh, he's pretty much running on uh, screw landlords, screw Holton Wise. Holton Wise, you're the worst, most evil company there is. If you go to this man's Facebook, it's all Holton Wise stuff, all right? And what he did yesterday, okay, he held a press conference on the front porch of one of our properties, all right? He even went in and brought a TV up onto the porch to play one of our videos. He wanted to talk to everybody. That's, you know, first of all, I think it's funny, right? Hey, Holton Wise, can, can we hold a press conference on, on, on this house? Never asked us, but I guess that's the socialist communist agenda, right? Taking what doesn't belong to you without asking. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and let that slide. But I want to react to the things this man is saying because it's all rhetoric. It's all meant to get headlines. There is, in fact, no factual basis for his attack. So this company, based out of Parma, has operated under the radar for City Hall for years, targeting black and underserved neighborhoods across our city. And they train up, quote, savage investors and we were out of town real estate buyers to our city. This, uh, this property didn't become this way because Granny didn't have the money to put into it. There are programs to help Granny. This guy is hell-bent on scapegoating landlords and property owners, trying to position it like landlords have created all of the issues at this particular house and in the neighborhood. Now, let's talk facts, all right? Something that Justin Bibb doesn't like to do. This house was built in 1910. So that makes this house 111 years old. Now, Holton Wise, we are currently the real estate broker for the owner of this house. We have been involved with this particular house for no more than 45 days. But the house itself is an incredibly 
uh, dis distressed disarray, right? The house itself, it's a 111-year-old house, and it's been neglected for generations. The house has been in a horrible condition for decades. Holton Wise, we come in. 45 days or less approximately, right? But what does this politician do? What does this socialist asshole do? He tries to scapegoat it, tries to blame the problem that's, that house has, the problem, the crime in the neighborhood on us. He's trying to push those problems and those responsibility on somebody who doesn't have anything to do with it. Isn't that what politicians like him do? Now, my company's only been involved for about 45 days with that house, right? But you know who else has been involved? Politicians like him. Self-serving politicians have been in charge of Cleveland for decades. Myself, after 34 years of service uh, to the city. Perhaps the problem that that house is facing, that that neighborhood is facing, isn't the company who comes in and renovates homes, right? Holton Weiss. We've done millions and millions of dollars worth of home renovations in and around the Cleveland neighborhood. But this man says that we are the ones destroying the neighborhood. How is that so? We're out there actually physically putting our money on the line, sending workers down there, actually fixing 111-year-old homes like this one. Now, we became aware of old wise canvassing all across our community because residents are getting calls from these out-of-town investors trying to buy their property day in and day out. And I find it funny how you talk and you talk and you vilify all of this out-of-state investment. <laughs> That's really fucking rich, bro, that you talk about this out-of-state investment because I recently read an article that talked about that $180,000 you raised for your campaign in 2020. And I took a few notes here, brother. Let's talk about the fact that the biggest expenditure you had with all of that money for your campaign was $25,000 to a fundraising and consulting firm. Were they in Ohio? No. Were they in Cleveland? No. They were out of state. They lived in Kentucky. What about Cleveland? What about bringing the money into Cleveland? I thought you didn't like this out-of-state investment. As a matter of fact, according to that article, the only things... You spent on in Cleveland. The only Cleveland businesses you paid were Dollar Bank for checks and service charges, and you paid for some housing for your financial consultant who's from Washington, D.C. You had over 200 out of state donors. Where is your facts? Where is your consistency? I will throw out the companies who exploit and destroy our neighborhoods and incentivize our residents to rehab and invest in their own communities so we can bring back our neighborhoods. All of this scapegoating and vilification about the people that are bringing money into Cleveland, investing in Cleveland, when all you're doing with your money is sending it outside of Cleveland. And I want to give you a trigger warning because this video contains foul, explicit, offensive, derogatory, racial, and offensive language. You're going on and on and on and on just about how predatory Holton Wise is, you know, talking about our language, but you're never actually g going off of any fact, right? You're just talking about we're ruining the community, but you, you're enabled, incapable of citing any actual facts. Is it just my language? Is it just my language that offends you, bro? Is it because... I don't show up to work in a fancy suit every day. I don't wear a tie every day. Hell, I don't even wear a shirt every day when I'm at work. I know you like that Genie commercial, Justin. Now, is it that? Is it the fact that I don't have your pedigree, dude? I don't have an MBA from Case Western? Is it the fact that I grew up in old Brooklyn and I went to Tri-C and stopped after a two-year degree, and I just happen to work fucking hard for my money, and I don't let people steal from me? Is that what bothers you about me and other hard-working blue-collar Americans? Because that's what you're running on, man. That's your platform, right? That's your platform. You know, fuck personal rights 
It's all about freebies, gimmies. Take, take, take. Take what's not, not ours because we're entitled. Because I know you ain't running on safety, right? You talk about cleaning up these neighborhoods, making them safe, but yet you're running uh, with all of this anti-police rhetoric, talking about getting rid of bail, getting rid of cash bail, talking about decriminalizing traffic violations. Well, we're out, just going to drive as fast as we fucking want. There's no fucking... Uh, consequences for our actions fuck the safety. It's just simpler and easier to blame the hardworking Americans, to blame the landlords. You got a problem with landlording in general? I'm going to fight and work with city council to pass, pass pay-to-stay legislation in Cleveland to protect tenants from immediate eviction. Now that's interesting. That's We're finally getting somewhere. You're not just... Going off of the rhetoric and the sound bites and the headlines. You're actually talking about something real now, right? You're taking issue with the eviction process. You're taking issue with the merchandise, right? I get it. I get it. It's to get your attention. First of all, folks, let me get one thing clear. Landlords only love an eviction because it stops crime. It stops somebody from stealing from them. You see, I'm anti-crime. I'm anti-theft. Obviously, Justin, you're pro-crime. Because you're anti-police, you're pro-decriminalization of traffic violations, you want to get rid of bail, right? See, I'm all about safety of our communities. You, on the other hand, it doesn't appear you are, right? But you're anti-eviction. Okay, I could understand that. That makes a little sense. Let me let you in on a little secret, folks. Like I said, we only love evictions as landlords because it stops the bleeding. It stops someone from stealing from us. We are losing a ton of money when we evict people. But I'm not asking for your tears. I'm not asking for sympathy. I'm not asking for a sob story. I'm just cutting it straight. The narrative that socialists, uh, political uh, political communists, people with an agenda, self-serving politicians like Justin, the, the narrative they try to run to buy your vote or to, to lure you into putting them into power is that landlords uh, like Holton Wise – we make money every time we evict you. That, that, that couldn't be further from the truth. We actually lose money every time there's an eviction. Your landlord wants nothing more than you to actually be inside that home and pay the rent. But unfortunately, evictions are a part of the business, and I believe that landlords should be allowed to evict when somebody starts stealing from them, right? And, of course, we go through the legal process. You, on the other hand, Justin, you don't feel that way, which I could even respect, but it goes back to some of your previous comments that landlords like Holton Wise, we go into these neighborhoods and we somehow make them worse. How do we do that? You're going on a porch of a 111-year-old house saying it's dilapidated because of people like me who just took it over 45 days ago. I'm not going to live in that house. I don't move into that house. I'm not going to kick a hole into that wall. I'm not going to break the window, right? Who does that? Criminals. Well, who evicts criminals from houses? Landlords. So what is it? Are you anti-eviction or are you anti-criminals and troublemakers moving into these homes? Because you can't have it both ways. You either want your landlords to remove problem residents from these neighborhoods or you don't. You either are in favor of these evictions when they reduce crime and problems or you aren't. You can't simply have it both ways. So, Justin... I urge you, man, you're trying to win this primary. I get it. You're trying to capture headlines. Makes sense, man. I, I, it's, there's a crowded field, bro. There's seven, seven people, and it doesn't even look like you're going to get 10% of the vote, bro. So you're doing whatever you can to stir up some controversy. I like it. But if you're going to do that, if you're going to come at me, come at me with actual facts. Come at me with something specific that explains what you think my company is doing that's predatory. Because from where I'm standing, you're just coming at me with rhetoric, with hot takes, no actual facts. I would love to hear your facts. If you have a fact, if you can explain a specific policy that my company does other than this, you know, trigger you're triggered, you're upset because my language hurts your fucking feelings when there's actual real problems in the world. There's actual real problems in the city. The city's looking for politicians to actually solve them, not some fucking asshole to scapegoat somebody else. So give me, 
Give me the real problems you see. Give me the actual facts that justify you calling my business predatory. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.